Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Stingy. Today, I've got another really cool video. So if you saw my last video, I put a Torp TC1000 controller on my Suron Ultra B. It took the top speed up to 71 miles per hour. I think it's got a little bit more in it. And it also made the acceleration way more powerful, pushing over 19 kilowatts. But today, we're gonna to be dropping a massive upgrade on the bike, which is an 80 volt, 76 amp hour battery. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly show you the bike with the battery in it. And then we're going to head out. I'm going to do some performance tests, show you the top speed. And yeah, just have a great time ripping the trails with WGT Will. So guys, as you can see, we now have the 80 volt, 76 amp hour battery inside the bike. I've got a custom painted battery lid pairing this up with the TC1000. Um, so today we're just going to be taking it for a rip. Still quite early, so I've got the blind down. Lighting might not be the best, but I hope you get a good idea of just how great this battery looks and fits inside this bike. But yeah, without further ado, I will get my helmet on, get my gear on, and we'll head out, and I'll see you on the GoPro. I'm actually just gonna quickly show you guys my tune settings so you can copy. Feel free to pause the video and screenshot. Um, my daily and eco are pretty mundane. My eco is like a standard Ultra Beyond Sport, and then my daily is about 16 to 17 kilowatts, depending on what I'm riding. Sport, I've maxed everything out peaking at 35 kilowatts 80 miles per hour and then i have tweaked the throttle settings so daily and eco are very standard a bit further over to the smooth side and then sport i've got my aggressiveness in the middle and then a bit of a ramp this bike is faster than a 72 volt Suron Otellaria. it's not quite as fast as a stark on the stock motor or nowhere near probably but due to it having a lot of power and torque compared to like my Suron Otellaria. I do find that having this little bit of a speed ramp helps me maintain traction and stops the wheel spinning. Because you'll see in the video, but this bike has been wheel spinning at about 50 to 60 miles per hour. We are now out on the 80 volt Ultra B. This thing has so much power, it's a joke. We are on the stock motor, but it's nice and cold today, so we shouldn't be reaching uh, high temps with the motor itself. I've got a little commute over to the woods where we're meeting up with WGT Racing Wheel. It lives about five, six miles away from me. So yeah, just overtake these cars. Straight up to 73. Now, I'm still in daily, I'm not even in sport yet. And that was like a quarter throttle. This, ba this battery is a beast. And you don't notice the extra weight, really. And I overtake this car as well. Gotta be careful, it's very cold today. Three degrees Celsius, so. GT Racing, aka Will, aka Pufta, and he's riding his WGT race bike, which has got a Ventus V9600 controller, Ventus 9C battery, and the Ventus Beast motor. So we'll get a little, we'll get a little drag racing in a bit. A great looking bike, so yeah, stay tuned. We're just gonna head out now and see what we can find. Hell yeah! I don't know how much traction I've got on this with these tyres at this pressure. Yeah. It's got so much traction. Uh, daily, my middle, middle mode. You can't wheel spin. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up the hill. Hell, that's good, isn't it? We need to go faster before we gas it. You ready? Let's go 40 and then gas it. 40, 40, 40. In, but that thing's fast! How'd you keep the front down on it? 
I was wheel spinning. Th There's a twat. There's a twat in a high vis here. Look. Oh, he's cutting down trees. Come on, let's get to the path. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just head to this pathway now, let's see. Oh, sh! Don't go through what I just went through, bro. You'll bottom out in mud. Top mode's 35, but I've got a new motor coming next week. That's 52 kilo. Uh, <laughs> you have to press uh, ready, which is. There you go, you're good to go. You know what, the silver hubs look sick. Like the bars are so wide as well. Yeah, they're big, they're hard to get through a doorway. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, you know. Thing just slides everywhere. Comes in kind of late a little bit, yeah. It? It's got a little bit of a yeah, it's just a stop. Feels so like do you wanna, solid. Though. Do you want to try it on the sport mode? Which one's that? If I press it up now, you're 35 kilowatts. This is like the fastest, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come straight past me, I'm filming you on the GoPro. Just keep going. These are so easy to wheelie. Bit slippery. So was I'm doing one well right now. <laughs> Anyone want to race? Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. All right, we'll spin it round and race up the hill. Oh, he's getting a flyby. Should we let Danny boy go at the front? Yeah. With the headlight. <laughs> I've got a headlight as well, but... Full beam. Ready? God save me there.
That's a good one. I love that one. So guys, the 80 volt battery is an absolute beast. It's really transformed the bike, pushing speeds of up to 80 miles per hour, 35 kilowatts at the stock motor. It really does go to show you what that standard motor can do if you have the Gen 1 like me. But you'd have to see where we go next with the Ultra B because we're going to be putting probably the biggest upgrade in it that you can buy right now for these bikes. Um, hint, we're going to be pushing over 50 kilowatts. So make sure you stay tuned, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you stay notified for the next upload. And as always, I'll see you next week.